pedestrians can't walk. And just like every cycle lane in the UK, it is filled with, uh, that was a big bee. <laughs> it's filled with bees, not cyclists. There's another one, there's another one over there, they're attacking me. Well, it says here, if it continues to itch for more than three days to consult a GP. Hmm. Oh, hello. Fancy seeing you here. As you can see by my slightly half underexposed, overexposed face, we're in a car. It's a nice sunny day. We're on our way back to Bet's Hangar. Uh, last time we went was actually in June last year. It was a really nice day. And today, what we're going to do is going to go visit the museum. This was the museum that I actually promised you that we would go visit shortly. Well, seven months is quite short. We said we were going to go back to the museum. Well, today I'm slightly promising that. We are going to the museum. Hopefully it stays dry on this lovely crisp February day. It's actually feeling quite warm and sunny in the car. It's definitely sunny. Not sure it's warm. We brought coats. Glad we did. Can you even see my face? It's like I've had half of it cut off by a black hole. <laughs> All right, birds. We will be shooting on this uh, beautiful under and overexposed Pocket 3 today. We'll also be trying the 12, the hero, GoPro, obviously, the best sort of hero. And uh, if we're lucky, we might even get a bit of drone footage. And uh, around the museum, we're going to be using just this uh, Pocket 3. Uh, the settings will be quickly listed below. trick is to take you out without you falling. Ooh. Ooh. Perfect. Come on, let's go. It may not look it, but it's really, really cold. A lot colder than what it was last time. This walkway's just got bad news written all over it. Now I can't tell if that is a pond or just flooding. tell if we've come on a quiet day or what but this is actually a cycle lane dedicated for cyclists just cyclists pedestrians can't walk and just like every cycle lane in the UK it is filled with uh... <coughs> that was a big bee <laughs> it's filled with bees not cyclists there's another one there's another one over there. they're attacking me yeah it's, uh, it's well utilised. It's a shame we can't walk on the path that is dry and nice for the feet. We can't do that. No, we have to be given this. Ooh. Nice. Nice bit of mud. There you go, peasant. Go for a walk. Do it. Do it now, fall over. Well, as we go further into the forest, we are learning that Skechers is probably not the best idea for footwear. But I don't own a set of Wellingtons, and I refuse to wear a set of Wellingtons. I would look ridiculous. But I would be, uh, would be dry. My feet are getting wetter as we speak. Damn you, Skechers, you're so damn comfortable. Ooh. Are you sure it's lights or is it electric fence? <laughs> well, I'm hoping it's lights. Lights won't be Some dirty old man with his trousers down in a Christmas outfit. <laughs> There's a child sat on his lap. 
Yeah, we know the saw. Is this the guillotine? I don't think we came down this way last time, did we? just here isn't because I'm excited about the drone. <laughs> it's my camera bag. <laughs> if you say so, babe. Trying to get Droney McDrone face was a complete disaster. I did the stupid thing of not charging it from the last time I used it. So zero battery, zero footage. Brilliant. I think what we'll do now is we're going to make our way to the museum, aren't we? Yeah, let's go and have a look, see what that's got. Let's go round up the two miserable kids that we've got <laughs> that don't want to leave their bedroom and play computer games all day and not experience oxygen. It's teenagers. Yeah. Let's go round them up and uh, get ourselves to that museum, shall we? Tally ho! Which path did we come out of? Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> this one, I think. I think it was this middle one. So come on then. How much of a resting bitch face do you think my two teenagers are going to have? They've had to wait an extra 15 minutes. Okay, Daniel, come here, come here. I'm doing a very scientific experiment. Let's just see that face. Yeah. Oh, that's quite low. No, that's 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 probably a 2 out of 10 that's for Daniel. Awesome. That is an absolute beast of a sandwich. Big up the chicken and bacon. Big it up. If we, what's, what's, what's it called, Daniel? If you know the rules, know the rules. That's it. Well, we finally made it into the museum. As you can see, this is all very interesting. Um, some pictures here of what it was like to work in the colliery. Tilminston colliery, this one. And this is actually one of the carts you see here that was used. Amazing how it's been kept. Just a little bit of rust over there. But... Uh, yeah, kept in good shape. That's easier to work in then than the material, because it didn't give you a rat. It used to make you dead slightly. <laughs> bit was quite interesting. You learned a lot about the actual coal mine itself, the women against the coal mine, and uh, the early days of the strikes. We're now going down underneath the ground to the next part of the museum. I can only imagine just how bad it was, the conditions. So in this room we have a lot of memorabilia about what it was like to be down the mines, some actual official bits of uh, equipment and literature, and actually propaganda. It's all quite fascinating, this. 
it's all very humbling, really. It's almost like wartime memorabilia. Just, no, it's not war. But there's still a lot of people that lost their lives down in this mine. You know, poor practices and poor conditions doesn't make for a very safe environment. But I think this is it. This is everything in this room. We're going to make our way up to the surface. We're below ground at the moment. That was all very interesting inside that museum. It's only been open for the last couple of years. It's 2022 it opened. It's uh, definitely well worth a visit. So I think now what we're going to be doing is going to get a nice cup of coffee and a slab of cake. Do you know if a cloud ever suggested time to go for a coffee and cake, I think that would be the epitome of the cloud. Let's take a look at that. Ooh, that's evil. Well, this ain't the greatest weather to be doing this in, but uh, if I lose camera equipment today, I cannot be mad. It is my own fault. <laughs> it's raining. Let's go. So we have just bought the fattest Biscoffee biscuit brownie, and you've gone for the... Cheese scone. Cheese scone. They are absolutely massive, so fingers crossed, they're coming. Okay, would you take a look at the size of that scone? It is like the size of a fifth. It's bigger. It's absolutely massive. At that, that is an absolute monstrosity of a scone. How are you going to put that away? It will. Well, I am going to try and tackle this absolute unit of a dessert. <laughs> it's a lot thicker than I thought. I was going to thought it would be softer. Yeah, it looks quite firm. Yeah. I'm going to give that a um, five stars, one thumb up. Just a bite. So what's it like? It's lovely, absolutely amazing. Cheesy? Yeah. I hope so. As you can see, this really is quite a thick stodgy. This stodgy sounds like a bad word, but it's not actually. It's just a lot thicker than I thought it was going to be. It is delicious though. Well, I think that is it for today. The weather has called a, a massive end to whatever we was going to do. What can you do? We did enjoy the coffee and cake though, didn't we? Oh, we loved it. Well, you had some sort of like Stilton cheese scone <laughs> slab. <laughs> it's massive. But there we go. Uh, the rain has kind of ended our little trip. So yes, if you did like this video, don't uh, forget to leave a little like and subscribe. There'll be uh, some other stuff coming up soon when the weather gets a little better. Not sure it's going to, though, anytime soon. We're still in February. Give it another couple of weeks, maybe. We never know. But until then, we'll see you on the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye. Bye. Okay, so active track in the rain.